No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. 1 John 4.12 Hi you guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi to all my new subscribers. Welcome you guys. Today I will be completing some more juicing from days one to three so you will get a chance to see a few of the juices that I will make and also speak in regards to this wonderful, wonderful vegetable that has been missing from my regimen. I am so grateful to advise you guys about purple cabbage. You guys, the potential health benefits of purple cabbage alone won me over. First of all, it's anti-inflammatory, promotes heart health, strengthens bones, and it protects against certain cancers, and it suppresses weight because it gives you a you know feeling of fullness. <laughs> so I'm in love with this just from reading that small portion of it, but I definitely want to give you guys more details. So the purple cabbage contains vital nutrients and that helps reduce inflammation, which is why it's anti-inflammatory. Now the heart health portion of it, the anthocyanins, the flavonoid antioxidants that gives this purple cabbage its beautiful color, that's what helps to lower blood pressure and reduces the risk of heart disease and heart attacks. So purple cabbage contains also potassium and contains a high amount of vitamin C, which we all can use today for our immunity. So it helps boost your immune system. Now, as for the cancer help prevention, it helps with some cancers. So it has flavonoids, which is why it has that purple pigment. It also has resveratrol. So that helps your blood pressure as well. And what it does, because of all of these wonderful nutrients it has and it boosts immunity to certain cancers now purple cabbage contains phytosterols it's an insoluble fiber so that's why it helps to keep your digestive system healthy it also is said to heal the gut lining which i'll give you more on that in a minute so as far as the digestive health it's also an antioxidant it has higher concentrations of antioxidants because of that dark purple beautiful color and we just are so excited to find this particular vegetable could possibly help all that i've been going through with my gut issues so i want to just mention to you guys um before when i was living in florida when we first moved to florida I actually caused gastritis to happen. I loved this one drink that I would have every night and it was V8, the spicy V8. And one night I went to the grocer and it was out. So I decided to get the regular kind, right? Why not? And why don't I just add some Louisiana hot sauce to that? Well, I added way too much hot sauce and that caused the involuntary vomiting so much to the point where i was vomiting bile and had to be brought to the hospital that event alone damaged my stomach lining i remember mentioning to my husband that no matter how well and healthy i'm eating i am not getting the nutrients and vitamins that are in the foods because I am still drained. So I was still drained and still feeling tired. Only time I did feel a boost of energy was during juice fast or any type of detoxes we were doing. I felt like I had a ton of energy because when you do a juice fast or when you do a fast of any sort, um, whether it's liquid smoothies or juices, water, whatever you're trying to do, it bypasses, it goes straight into your bloodstream. And you do get most of the nutrients and vitamins from it. 
So if there are any gut issues or problems, then you would immediately get your vitamins and minerals. Now, before considering any diet change, please consult your physician, your practitioner, your professional, your medical professional, whomever you are going to see because in changing your diet could cause a detrimental effect on you if you do not have the clear to do it before attempting something new. Even incorporating different foods um, could also cause that to happen. Like we do know basically um, in the medical field, if a patient's taking medication, you want to, if they want grapefruit or there's grapefruit being served, that it has to be given like within four or five hours from that particular uh, medication is given. You want to space out things and you do not want to um, just start incorporating cabbage and grapefruit and all of these wonderful fruits and vegetables until you've gotten the clear. So make sure you check with your physician. Now, this particular vegetable contains this vitamin U. This is a new vitamin we've never heard of before. And it prevents the formation of ulcers in the stomach as what we have found through this particular documented research of 13 patients that had peptic ulcers and they were all treated with the fresh cabbage juice this is back in 1949 which this experiment gave them the ability to heal so there were about the average crater healing time which is a ulcer the average healing time for seven of those patients who had duodenal ulcers was only 10.4 days while the average time as reported in 62 patients treated by the standard therapy which is medical intervention which is medications given to heal ulcers was 37 days so that will tell you alone um, then there was another study afterwards the same was found that the average healing time for six patients with the cabbage juice was 7.3 days in another study that was done compared to 42 days with the medical treatments of the remainder patients. So they have come to the conclusion through the study that the factor of this vitamin U actually prevented the development of ulcers. And they also tried it on in an animal study with um, guinea pigs. So this is such a wonderful wealth of knowledge to know that I could have been repairing my gastric lining just by incorporating more purple cabbage into my diet. And funny enough, I crave cabbage, which is weird, but I actually crave it. And growing up as a kid, my cousins and I, we would cut up the cabbage that was in the fridge <laughs> and it was going to be used for some Louisiana dish, by the way. <laughs> but we would get the heads of cabbage and we would cut them up and uh, apply like salt, pepper, vinegar on it. And we would just eat it just raw all the time. And we just loved it. And I've always loved coleslaw and I didn't like coleslaw with all the stuff on it. I would just like raw <laughs> shredded cabbage <laughs> and so now it all makes sense like my body was actually craving something that could help it to heal right the god is such an amazing god he has created everything in its state to help us to heal we just have to know and be wise and get the wisdom for it so this is beautiful just to know these particular benefits would actually help me heal my gut lining over time and also just to continue to promote good health so this will definitely be a daily regimen in my diet i will constantly be having the purple cabbage and i usually juice it with some apples like 
any apples pretty much other than the granny smith apples i do like the granny smith apples to uh, with the sweeter type of uh, vegetables um, root vegetables like carrots i like the granny smith apples with those um, so i want a good balance of sour and sweet that's why i love granny smith with the carrots instead of like for example ambrosia or gala or any of those sweeter apple varieties so I definitely would recommend you giving the purple cabbage a try and I do juice it with some any other apples other than you know the granny smith apples it's it's so helpful I do notice a huge difference with it I notice that I just feel kind of regular normal I can say that I don't have any type of uncomfortable feeling so I want to give you some of information about leaky gut which is pretty much what I was not really diagnosed because it's not really recognized by the medical professionals as a condition this is just something that they have named and it's pretty much um, some type of situation where your gut lining is impaired it has large cracks or holes and a lot of your food and toxins bugs any parasite anything like that could penetrate the tissues easily so that's why they call it leaky gut and what i had was a few of the symptoms i had um, food sensitivities gas um, stomach pain like the cramping bloating and there's it even causes joint pain and i had those symptoms and I definitely know I needed to do something about it it can cause skin problems like acne rashes eczema some other digestive issues I did not in I did not have I had nausea but the vomiting I did not experience um, it can cause indigestion and um, blood and stools so the fatigue I had um, headaches like brain fogginess I definitely had that it can cause deficiencies in vitamin b12 magnesium digestive enzymes which is all necessary for your gut to be thriving and so I really didn't have the fever or the night sweats the weight loss the blood in the stool and I did not have the vomiting nor the diarrhea but I did have the other symptoms and I still do even no matter what I do to my diet no matter how much exercise I do so that had gave the conclusion that I probably have this particular sort of syndrome and so I am working on healing that and knowing that purple cabbage actually is found to heal the gut lining by preventing more ulcers and eventually allowing your gut to heal then I am so for trying this. So I would recommend if anyone is having any type of problems, consult your physician to see if you can incorporate this particular vegetable powerhouse into your diet and regimen. So I'm going to be doing a few more juices throughout the days, you guys. I just wanted to give you an update on what's been going on and how are my symptoms, what I've experienced into your regimen. Now, everything else was no problem. Going through the 4th of July, I did finish three full days. And then going through the 4th of July, I did eat some fruit. And that was probably because I was surrounded by food. And then I just jumped back on it on the actual uh, full day of juicing the next, um, next few days. I am really looking forward to seeing how far I can go on this juice cleanse like i mentioned in the previous video i did do a 10 full day juice cleanse uh, years ago i am not certain if i'll be able to take it through 10 days i am looking forward to that i have found that i have so far lost nine pounds and uh that last pound kind of fluctuates depending on what time of the day i actually weigh in so far that's what i see Earlier this morning, I woke up at 160 
and when I started this I was at 169 so I will just insert a clip of the weight scale so that that is really great knowing that I'm just probably flushing out a lot of toxins um, <laughs> I would say probably for day one or two um, take something that will help you to have your regular movements <laughs> no tmi <laughs> so i just want you to know that you will need to get those toxins out of your system which is why drinking so much um juice and water is necessary giving your body a break is necessary at times it's a good time to go and just spend time with the lord and just to he be in his word trusting he has taken care he will take care of you call out to him during these times it's a special time to spend with him and um, do not get distracted because distractions will come definitely first day keep your focus these juices are so awesome i'm going to complete um, some more juices for you guys to review and look at and you'll get a chance to just take a look at them again and see what I'm preparing. I will put some of the juices down in the description box below. Let me know if you guys are thinking about juicing or adding more juices to your regimen, your daily lifestyle. If you're just adding two juices to your daily life, that is such an improvement. You're getting vitamins and minerals straight into your bloodstream and it's such um, a blessing that the Lord has given us to be able to do that so I pray that you guys are doing well I will come back and show you guys a clip at the end of this of my day one evening and you will get a chance to see how um, I did neglect to drink water so enjoy the video you guys i will link i will put in the description box below the juices i am preparing and all of the wonderful um, concoctions i'm putting together here the juicer also you can shop my home my closet and um, i'll link that below as well thank you guys i appreciate you guys and i love you guys and i pray you're all well definitely leave me comments of what you think would you consider having more cabbage juice are you having gut issues are you having any of those symptoms that i explained that i'm having and was experiencing and hoping to heal from it so please chime in i want to hear from you guys and thank you so much for watching okay enjoy the rest of the video
Here I'm preparing my favorite, one of my favorite green juices. There are many that I like. This one here has some spinach, um, about 40 ounces of water, 32 or 40. And I also added some pineapple to this one. And usually I have some orange juice added to this one, um, or I'll add some juiced apples to it as well. Now, if you prefer to have your juice strained instead of having the pulp, you can just use a strainer to do so. I'm gonna share with you guys a few of the juices I prepare today. I have green apple, celery, cucumber, green bell pepper, and carrots. That one was a, quite a spicy one with a little bit of sweetness from the carrots. The second one is ginger apples, like I used ambrosia apples, celery and carrots. That one was also sweet and refreshing. The third one is ginger, granny smith and ambrosia apples, beets. I have a lemon, celery and carrots and that one was really good as well. My other juice was two yellow mangoes, a yellow bell pepper, pineapple. That one, also you can add some golden melon to that. That is my favorite juice. That is so good, you guys, you need to give it a try. It is wonderful to drink and it gives this beautiful golden color. As you can see here, I've already pre-washed a lot of veggies that I am going to just go through. That huge bag of carrots I need to get through. And whatever I get, I also get extra for the family. I've pre-washed all of my jars that I will be using. I pretty much sanitize them. And from there, I just call it a day and go to juicing. And I try to juice at least two to three days ahead of time. I would do a full week if I could. I would think that would help, but I do give juices to my family. So I do let, um, I would prefer for them to drink as much as they can. And I do give some juices to them. So it lasts about two to three days. And from there on, I would juice again. I would recommend if you're going to do this to juice the night before you are running out of juice. You do not, even if you have juice the next day. So if you have three days worth of juices, still juice the second night and get that going so that you're constantly in rotation of drinking juices and not without especially when your body may call for more of us to rest more or you may be more tired and you don't want to constantly be cleaning the juicer but you definitely want to constantly be having access to fresh juice and that's the point of this is to get as much vitamins and minerals into our bodies okay you guys i'm going to just go ahead and let you guys continue to watch this video and enjoy if you have any questions about anything let me know below
I'm just going to have a little bit of cacao powder and milk, a little bit of agave nectar, and it's an almond milk that I usually make myself. And so I'm going to have that. And so far my energy has been good. I got, did get low energy. Mm, it's like really low energetic. Um, I guess early around the afternoon time. That is when I got really low in energy. Um, and I didn't have a juice with me in the car. I had already finished the juices I went to um, run errands with. I brought two with me. I see that I'm gonna have to pack more than that. And um, I bought a smoothie also in my water, some water. And I think it was be it's also because I had a headache today and I know it's because I haven't finished my lemon water. Usually, when I did this previously, I used to finish this by at least, I was done with all my water by at least two o'clock. And I know I did not do a good job today. So I still have a lot more to drink. And it is only <clears throat> 7.30 where I am. So 7.30 p.m. So I am going to, I mean, my stomach is bloat it my body is getting used to the water content and my stomach is extremely bloated right now um i still have one juice left for tonight if i have room because i have some carrots ready and some celery for tomorrow and some cucumbers and i have plenty of apples that i need to juice i have some parsley here and some more bell pepper I'm getting ready to head to bed. They are probably gonna watch um, it, the movie because it's a movie night. So they're gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna listen to my body and rest. So, okay, you guys, so far day one is a good go. So I almost dropped <laughs> my camera. So I'm gonna go to bed because I can see there's a problem. <laughs> good night.